David Gilstrap, Syracuse in four. Ruben Walters of Alabama in five. Angelo Goss of Syracuse in six. Hayden Gomez of Yale in seven. And Matt Moore of Syracuse in eight. You know, we talked about them being randomly seated. How about three Syracuse guys in the same heat here? I don't think they figured to have that in this second heat. That's an inner, inner squad meet here. So we'll see how uh, Ruben Walters compares today. Uh, he was DQ'd at the SEC Championships um, after running a 13.28 windy time in the preliminaries. So he did run in at in Gainesville for the Tom Jones where where uh, Grant Hollery ran that 13.16 and uh, really was dominated there. Uh, Grant Holloway has his numbers thus far this season. So... Grant has everyone's numbers, though, pretty much, <laughs> other than the professionals so far. He has, he's had everyone's numbers, but you're yeah. correct there. You see uh, Walters, who has quite the pedigree as the runner-up several times to Holloway, not only in the SEC, but as you saw there at last year's NCAA championships, comes in with a wind legal personal best, 13.31. Yeah, it must be a little bit intimidating to see him Grant improves so much, and Walter's, you know, improving, but just not as much. Right. <clears throat> but certainly Walter's a big piece of what Alabama's trying to do at the national meet, and he'll take his first steps in these prelims in just a moment as he, too, gets set to go. I think there were several knocked over hurdles, so they'll have to get those all fixed up before we get underway. See some of the umbrellas out to shield the sun. It's just starting to pick up uh, in temperature. It looks like the wind is maybe blowing just a little bit. That first race was uh, under one meters per second, so we haven't seen anything too gusty yet. Yeah, it was really quiet yesterday. I was yeah. surprised with the impending weather coming in. But we've been very, very lucky. Just had some lightning last night, um, which can get pretty scary around here. And uh, so we had to hold off on those races. That's why the delay in the 10Ks. Yeah, those athletes that ran the 10Ks last night are probably laid up in their hotel rooms right now still. <laughs> it's uh, only been about 12 hours. So here we go. Heat two of the men's 110 hurdles first round. Keep an eye on lane five. That's Ruben Walters, the senior from Alabama. Off we go with a clean start. It looked like a pretty good start for Walters, and he's already starting to pull away. Yeah, he looks very crisp over that, and everybody else is knocking hurdles over. And Walters is clean. Yeah. Look at that. Dominant. And he basically lets up. Ooh, look at this time, too. 13.37. A very effortless 13.44. It's corrected, too. It's not a legal win. It's definitely, you could tell by the flag. Uh, you can't see off screen, but it's it's picked up. And now we're at plus 3.1 meters per second. So our first non-win legal mark. But Walters looking pretty easy with that 13.44. Spears second, 13.67. And Goss will move on. In 1378, his teammate Matt Moore will have to wait. But that 1382, uh, it's a pretty good non-qualifying time. So he will uh, have a good chance to move on. Now let's take a look at how that second heat went down. So right away, it was uh, it was pretty clear that Walters was superior from of this field. Well out. We did have an athlete fall. The Cornell athlete Lyons went down, unfortunately. So that ends his chance at making the national championships 